Erodo problem number 62. It says a small body was launched up an inclined plane set at an angle of alpha 15 degree against the horizontal. Find the coefficient of friction if the time of the ascent of the body is at a two times less than the time of descent. So basically it involves a body projected up an inclined surface. Of course you must have projected up with some velocity v0. And when it is going upward, it has some retardation A, due to which the speed will be decreasing and it will go up to a certain height, say covering a distance L. And this time, the time to go up is called the time of ascent, say TA, okay? Time of ascent, where the velocity will become zero. Now the reversal of motion will take place. And your object will come down, coming to the same point again, say O. And the time taken to come back, covering the same displacement in the opposite direction, will have a corresponding time called the time of descent. Time of descent, okay? So we will see how we will proceed with the problem with detailed working and also we will develop some fingertip formulae for such MCQs where the time of ascent and time of descent will be involved so that in such MCQs we can directly apply the fingertip formulae without going into the complete working. Okay, so first step we will proceed with the complete working. Now if you see the background of kinematics, so we know if number one if you see the background So if you know if A is constant, we can always apply the equations of motion in case of constant A. So suppose there is an object with initial velocity u and with a retardation or acceleration say A, if it is retardation A will be opposite to u and it is covering a displacement S in a time t and after t time the final velocity is V. So we are much acquainted with a very common equation s is equal to ut plus half at square correct but suppose we have to write this equation in terms of v this equation is in terms of the initial velocity and suppose if you are interested you don't know u but you know you know the v so we can use another equation of motion we know v is equal to u plus at and if you put this equation in this equation s will be in place of u, you can put v minus at plus half at square. So s will come to be, this is again t, in place of u, we write v minus at. So we'll get vt minus at plus half at square. So s comes to be vt minus half at square, okay? So this is another equation of motion which is very similar to s is equal to ut plus half at square. The difference is that it is not in terms of u, it is in terms of v, okay? So this is the equation we can use whenever you need to find or relate the displacement, the time, and the final velocity, okay? Whenever you need to find or relate the displacement, time, and the final velocity, the equation is s is equal to vt minus half at square. Had it been u, it would have been s is equal to ut plus half at square. Now it is s is equal to vt minus half at square, okay? Now the second logic we know from the fundamentals of Newton's laws, from the fundamentals of Newton's laws, okay, whenever there is some object, if this angle is theta and the object is going vertically up, the velocity is up, then the downward, it has a downward acceleration a, which is equal to g sine theta minus mu cos theta, correct? Sorry, plus mu cos theta. When it is going up, then we have a fundamental a is equal to g sine theta plus mu cos theta. And then we have seen in the fundamentals of Newton's law, if the object is coming down, if the velocity is downward, then it has a downward acceleration g sine theta minus u cos theta, correct? So when the object is going up, 
the downward a the downward a value of a is more when the object is coming down the downward value of a is less so these are the fundamentals which we will employ in this problem now let's see the time of descent and time of ascent so first i am going for the time of ascent so suppose you have projected the object with some initial velocity which we don't know and neither i want to know and the object goes say from point o up to a point a say covering a displacement l and there is an acceleration downward okay and i'm taking this side as positive i'm taking upward as positive and i have to find the time of ascent of course since this is the reversal point here the final velocity will be zero so i can apply s is equal to vt final velocity into t minus half a t square and what will be a what do you think what will be a since your a is downward so will you put a to be plus a or minus a your a is downward and upward is taken as positive so you will put what a minus a and s is plus l and v will be zero so your equation will come to be l is equal to minus half minus a and time is say time of accent t a square so therefore your t a will come to be minus will get cancelled away 2 l divided by the acceleration a and say this is a1 since it is going up so i'm writing it a1 in the downward case i will write a2 okay this is a1 so this is the formula for the time of ascent okay now let's see what will be the and what is a1 what is the value of a1 so we know a1 when the object goes up so the value of a1 will be g sin theta plus mu cos theta correct this is your a1 now for time of descent the block will take the reversal of motion from the point the final point we have marked as a so the block will take the reversal of motion from the point a and will come back to the point o okay so the block will take the reversal of motion now the initial velocity will be zero and the block will come till o covering the same displacement in the opposite direction l and say now the acceleration is a2 so here i am taking downward as positive for kinematics so s will be plus l a will be plus a2 initial velocity will be zero so i can apply s is equal to ut plus here i am taking the initial velocity equation so it is ut plus half ut square so l will be half a2 time of descent square so time of descent will be 2l divided by a2 under root okay and what will be the value of a2 what will be the value of a2 so in this case so the block is sliding down the block is sliding down so by the fundamentals which we have seen right now and also studied in newton's law a2 will be g sin theta minus mu cos theta correct this is the value of a2 now if you see now we have simple mathematics all the dynamics are over we got the time of ascent and the time of descent so if you divide both the equation t a by t d time of ascent by time of descent so 2l will get cancelled away and you will get a2 divided by a1 you will get a2 divided by a1 okay now this is the value of a1 and this is the value of a2 so surely you can see a1 is greater than a2 a1 is greater than a2 and if a1 is greater than a2 so a2 by a1 root will be less than 1 right that means the time of ascent will be less than the time of descent first fundamental as ftp which we will remember the time taken to go up the time taken to go up the rough inclined plane will be less than the time taken to go down the same inclined plane 
the block will take lesser time the block will take lesser time to go up then it will take the time to come back from the same point to the bottom first fundamental point okay now the second point is put the values of a so you will get a standard equation which will also be applicable for mcqs so i will get time of ascent by time of descent put the value of a to g sin theta minus mu cos theta divided by g sin theta plus mu cos theta whole under root now g will get cancelled away now you can divide rhs within the root by cos both the numerator and denominator can be divided by cos so you will get the equation time of ascent by time of descent as sin by cos will be tan theta minus mu sin by cos is tan theta minus mu okay so this is the ratio of the time of ascent and the time of descent and as i told you we we'll would like to have a fingertip formula developed for mcqs where we need not to go for the complete working again and again there are many mcqs which appear in the standard examinations where we can directly apply this ratio so already we have seen that time of ascent will be less uh, greater than sorry less than the time of descent so let me say that time of ascent is time of descent divided by eta no eta will of course be greater than 1 right because time of ascent is less than time of descent already we have seen so if you are saying time of ascent is time of descent by eta so eta will be greater than 1 so i am taking a ratio let time of ascent by time of descent be 1 by eta okay this i am doing for mcq if i'm taking a model if this ratio is given 1 by eta or you can say time of descent by time of ascent is eta you can also say conversely like this either you can say time of ascent by time of descent is 1 by eta or you can say time of descent by time of ascent is eta both are equivalent way simply making different subjects on lhs so in play in this equation the yellow box equation what we can do we can write T A by T D, one by eta, as tan theta minus mu by tan theta plus mu under root. Correct. Now what we can do? We can square both the sides. We can square both the sides. So I will get one by eta square is tan theta minus mu by tan theta plus mu. Now suppose I have to find mu, I can apply compendo and dividendo. So I'll get one plus eta square, one minus eta square is tan theta plus tan theta minus u plus u is two tan theta divided by tan theta minus u minus tan theta minus u, mu. That is minus two mu. So your two will get cancelled away. You can make mu as the subject. So mu will come to be minus mu will come to be tan theta one minus eta square by one plus eta square. And if you want to remove this negative sign, reverse the uh, order in this thing. So mu will come to be eta square minus one by eta square plus one multiplied by tan theta. So this you got as a standard FTP fingertip formula, which will be very useful. or many of the multiple choice problems or numerical problems we will see we will remember how we will apply this ftp so this we derived the formula you have to remember what is eta what is mu and what is theta so we got a ftp a fingertip formula which we call ftp such tools are very useful for mcqs where we our object is also to save time so it says that what model we developed let us see in the ftp we will remember this thing if there is a rough inclined plane with a coefficient of friction mu and the block finally reaching velocity 0 
and for going up it is taking a time of ascent a and for coming down with the same length from the same point the time of descent is td so first thing we have seen what first thing we have seen that time of ascent is less than time of descent correct and then we have seen we are taking the ratio that time of ascent divided by time of descent is what 1 by eta or you can say eta you are taking as what eta you are taking time of descent divided by time of ascent this is the standard model remember this is the value of eta this is the value of eta for ftp it is a ratio of time of descent by time of ascent eta is what the ratio of time of descent by time of ascent and always remember time of descent will be greater than time of ascent so eta will always be greater than 1 okay eta will always be greater than 1 because in this case td time of descent will be greater than time of ascent so we got the formula for mu in terms of eta we got the formula for mu in terms of eta that formula comes to be mu is equal to eta square minus 1 by eta square plus 1 multiplied by tan theta which you can directly apply in mcqs okay this is the ftp for mcqs now we'll come back to a problem already we have derived everything with complete working just in the intermediate way i was focusing you to write this ftp for mcqs and always remember how we put the value of eta eta is the ratio of time of descent to the time of ascent and mu will be n square minus 1 by n square plus 1 into tan theta now in this particular problem we got this value of mu and it is given that in the problem it is given that the time of ascent is eta two times less than the time of descent okay so in this problem it is being said the time of ascent is time of descent divided by eta and eta is given as 2 so time of ascent is time of descent by 2 so it implies that time of descent by time of ascent for the standard formula this has been taken as eta correct time of descent so this value has a value of 2 and theta is given as 15 degree and you have to find the value of mu so we have derived mu is equal to what n square minus 1 by n square sorry eta square minus 1 by eta square plus 1 multiplied by tan theta so mu will be 2 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 eta has a value of 2 tan 15 degree this will be your answer now you can evaluate tan tan 15 by the basic trigonometry formula you can evaluate the value of tan 15 by half angle formula for finding the value of tan 15 you can use the formula tan a by 2 is sin a 1 plus cos a so if you are taking a as 30 degree a by 2 will come to be 15 degree so tan 15 degree will be sin of 30 degree divided by 1 plus cos of 30 degree that is 1 by 2 1 plus root 3 by 2 so we'll get tan 15 as what 1 divided by 2 plus root 3 so put the value of tan 15 so mu will come to be 2 square will be 4 4 minus 1 3 and 2 square 4 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 plus root 3 this will be your answer for the value of mu okay this will be your answer for the value of mu for this problem and also as i told you remember this ftp for mcqs in many of the mcqs this will be very helpful ftp always remember take eta as the ratio of time of descent to the time of ascent which will always be greater than 1 if you are taking this ratio and the coefficient of friction will have a formula eta square minus 1 divided by eta square plus 1 multiplied by tan of theta okay so that was your problem erodov problem number 62